good morning zodiac i say morning like that because it's a little late welcome soul family read it's for the 28th of september general read for whoever resonates uh i read myself a little bit into this say i'm gonna do, i gotta do this a little quick so been some intense readings anybody's been watching dense energy um god i'll tell you what yesterday started the retrograde it i felt all kind of better <laughs> It's like, I, I really, I feel like it's, and I mean, I'm a wreck. And went for a little walk, had a nice, that's why we had to have a little break and the coffee and stuff. Um, but my body's like from the waist down to the wreck. <laughs> when I move, it's like an old airplane that's just falling apart, just a bucket of bolts held together with spit and glue and wire and duct tape. Uh, but otherwise, I mean, doing great. <laughs> oh. I, I feel it changing. I really feel it now. I hadn't feel it before. It's faith before. I knew it's kind of an astrologer. I can see. It. I know it's coming. I don't know about the world. I ain't worried about it. Literally, I don't worry about COVID. Sorry if that offends you. You know, sorry there's COVID. I don't want anyone to die. You know, but I don't worry about it. It never has bothered me. I'm gonna die and die. You know, if this uh, relationship's right, it's gonna be great. If it's not, it won't way it's okay so that's where I'm at <clears throat> but definitely I feel the energy already even though ironically it's right at Mercury retrograde I feel it moving forward I feel it like I feel where it's not going to be long now and uh, Saturn's the biggie for me when Saturn starts going direct um, I'm looking good it's going to pose my moon again um, but I've been through that for so long. I think I know how to handle these things, you know. <laughs> I know how Saturn works, and uh, you gotta give them a, you gotta put, you know, skin in the game with Saturn. Give Saturn its due. It's only good, only a good thing. Not always an easy thing, especially for Sagittarius. <laughs> what Saturn discipline, structure, Building, work, effort, patience, you know, saving money. Saturn is not about credit cards. Oh, that's cheaper. That's my planet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like if Saturn was a person, they would be. They would be that person. Who never had a, a credit card. I bet you. <laughs> you know, some Capricorns like that too, right? <laughs> okay. Here we are, Seven of Wands. Uh, this is a little different Seven of Wands. I like the one where it shows the guy in front of the castle and it, it's the righteous defense because that's how I want to read this. Righteous defense of the castle. And it's not really a stretch, but when I think of the castle, I think of the kingdom and then Vedic astrology and then the sun. And so this is someone, this definitely applies to me. I'm, try, I'm writing an article now, there's gonna be a bigger one, and, uh, and it's demanding a lot of research. It's really also about me understanding myself, but my son square the nodes, but you know, and I call it, you know, uh, the kingdom under assault, and the sun is under assault. And here, I kind of get that feeling, because if I'm reading myself into it, uh, but you know, I've felt this before, and you know, I think this can be, I mean, there's a lot going on, and when you're on a spiritual path, and when you're serious, and that's what I want to read for here, a lot of times people, I was kind of making fun of Capricorns, and I, the sign bashing is not a thing, but, you know, if you have a strong Capricorn here, it's probably the most skeptical, and it's Saturn, and, you know, Saturn's kind of like, you know, I don't really even care if there's a God, I don't really care if prayer works, you know, uh, what are you doing right now? to make yourself stronger and to make your life you know saturn i knew a guy he was in vietnam he was like a charismatic atheist this guy scott silsby let's say his name he might be still alive i liked him he was a brilliant guy but he said yeah man when i was in nam he said all the christians would be praying he said i'd be steady just digging my foxhole a few inches deeper a few feet deeper if i could get it and he said the way i looked at it is pure darwinianism uh, better chance to survive that my foxhole is deeper and I never bothered them. You all go ahead and pray as much as you want. <laughs> but 
But that's kind of the energy of Saturn. It's hard. It's skeptical. It's the father who's the drill sergeant. And he ain't never probably going to say, I love you, honey. Or maybe even really hug you. <laughs> but he loves you. Uh, it's just in a hard way. I mean, he ate his children, for God's sakes. I mean, you know. Now, what's crossing us? The King of Wands. So, I'll take this as reversed here. Kind of sometimes I read it just as... Just think about what's a King of Wands reversed. <sighs> Guys, I think this is someone in our energy here. And it's going to be a fire sign. You know, Aries and Leo, Sagittarius. Um, first house, fifth house, ninth house energy. I'm talking here about the sun. I'm not going to say sun, moon, rising, and Venus here. I mean, it could be Mars. This could be someone, if it's uh, not a sun, it's someone in sinistry that, like, you know, has their Mars on your moon or, you know, that kind of energy. Mars on your IC. Talk, keep talking about Saturn. Some, you know, sinistry so complex. I love sinistry. Anybody wants sinistry work, I do it. And it's my favorite. Uh, you can also look at sinistry with children. I mean, it's amazing. Um, but this would be a kind of harsh aspect. This could be why we're in the Seven of Wands. This may be speaking to not general energy, but to a person. But again, it could be a person that it is in some way, you know, not on board with your path. What's the spiritual path? The spiritual path is like your wife, husband says to you, are you out of your mind? You're, you're not going to take this job offer. It's twice the money. And, you know, and you thought it out and you're like, no, if I do, I'll be more stressed. I won't be able to do my meditation in the morning and I won't be able to get to the class that I'm taking now uh, at the university on Wednesday nights. And I know it'll be more money, but I am looking at the big picture and I'm, you know, I feel like this is the wise way to go for me and thinking of the long term and of our relationship and of my health in the future and they're like but you could make twice as much money if you took the job <laughs> or even could be taking the raise it's kind of like a metaphor but it's like when you're on the spiritual path and you're dedicated sometimes you might literally do things that are not to the world Saturn smart things to do <laughs> you might even say like okay I get it this relationship is not the one but I think there's something to learn here I'm not saying this is the case, but I'm saying this is the kind of mentality you get into and, and you allow things to happen because you, I think at some point I just have so much faith and spirit, it's not even about the other person. And it's like, you know, seven of wands, again, righteous defense of the castle. And so you're just going to be like, sorry that you feel that way, but it's my life. And the seven of wands, this is an assertion here, stronger standing up and asserting ourselves in a way like stronger than we might have done in the past now this is advice from spirit and i love this uh, ace of pinnacles here it's so reflective um i think spirit saying like uh you yet need to slow down we need to slow down and take look at her taking a good look at that pinnacle and so this is about these are fire here king of wands a seven of wands and I mean, a king of wands in verse, by the way, can be just a real asshole, just frankly. Just somebody that's really aggressive, could be physical, definitely verbally can be abusive. And no wonder then with the seven of wands, and no wonder then it would be righteous defense. But what its spirit is advising here is to take a coal of Saturn. I kept talking about Saturn. This is Saturn, pinnacles, earth signs. Take a look at your earth signs. You know, your second house and your sixth house and your tenth house in your chart, you know, and, you know, your Taurus and Capricorn and Virgo energies in your chart. But this is about, like, sitting down and, you know, basics, basics. So uh, <clears throat> it's also possibly about, as a message from spirit and advice, I think this can be a kind of a reassurance. It's like, you know, if you look at you already have this something to treasure, you know? It's because pages are messages, so it's really like a message the Spirit wants to get through to you. And so maybe it's like, focus on that one thing that you really treasure, and that's really good and solid, you know? And sincere and honest, it's all like the Page of Pentacles. 
and corny, you know, but maybe that thing is yourself. Mm hmm. Now, four swords, I'm telling you. Bottom of the deck, nine of cups. <laughs> I got, this is a love reading. I can't help it. I don't really read this for a love reading, but I do it the cards say. So, four swords. In the future, there's going to be some healing. So, you're going to do this. There's a person in your life that's being like abusive. They're not helpful. They're negative. They're, uh, and again, you know, you could say to them, look, I'm not telling you what to do. Do whatever you want. Leave me alone. You know, I'm going to do, and I'm going to do what I want. I'm going to do what I want. You know, a little Aries energy there. I'm going to do what I want. And you're going to, you, you're going to focus on yourself. I think is really what this is about. What's important to you. Maybe it's your work. That's part of yourself. Okay, but four swords. It's going to be some period of time in the future where you're going to be healing. But I believe this is a person coming into your life. It's not a lover. It's emotional. It's water signs, you know. Uh, we're looking here at uh, Cancer and Pisces and Scorpio energy coming into your life. And someone uh, that's uh, either a very good friend that's emotionally available. Uh, and they're coming to you. This is someone that's coming into your life in the very near future. This this person, I mean, if they're in your life now, it's like for whatever reason, they're not really in your life. But in the near future, they're going to be in your life. I think it's a new person. Um, not You know, it's Mercury retrograde. It, short advice for Mercury retrograde. Just do what you want. You know, move, pay a little extra attention. Pay attention to your mind. So I have an article on Facebook linked in the description did a couple days ago. I kind of go into a little bit how to look at it in your chart. But, you know, yeah, it's not so much about electronics and X's. Um, it's about our mind and what's going on in our mind and our communication, our thoughts, uh, with our communication with ourselves and with others. Um, so, you know, because I think it's coming probably during Mercury retrograde. It feels like close, like days, weeks, energy here. So, um, if anybody does come back, just uh, they clears the shadow on November 13th. I'll keep it simple. Say, listen, I'd like to talk to you, uh, but I have to wait uh, until after November 13th. So, hit me back up on the 14th, and we'll start a discussion about where this goes. And then during this retrograde, focus on yourself and your own mind, particularly, and the way you communicate. Look for patterns. Look for epiphanies to arise from within your own mind. Forget about the electronics, because, yes, but what can you do about that? But if you get an insight that changes your life because now you make connections about the patterns of thinking and you adjust it and refine it and your life changes for the better, now there's a Mercury retrograde with some impact that's a lot more important than if your computer glitches out, okay, I think. Thank you, guys.